तो टू कंटेनर कैट 2018 माय रिक्वेस्ट टू यू इज प्लीज ड्रॉप वन क्वेश्चन फ्रॉम कैट 2018 स्लॉट वन ओके फ्रेंड्स वेलकम अगेन टू द वर्ल्ड ऑफ मैथ्स बाय अमी दिस टाइम आई एम गोइंग टू से समथिंग व्हिच आई शुड नॉट से कैट 2018 स्लॉट वन क्वेश्चन दैट इज द वन ऑफ द क्वेश्चन व्हिच इज गोइंग टू इन फ्रंट ऑफ यू शुड बी ड्रॉप फ्रॉम द कैट द क्वेश्चन इज इन फ्रंट ऑफ यू इस क्वेश्चन को कैट दैट इज द आई एम सी दिस इज माय सिंसियर रिक्वेस्ट टू ऑल ऑफ द बोर्ड ऑफ डायरेक्टर्स ऑफ द कैट 2018 ऑल द कन्वेनर दिस इज माय रिक्वेस्ट एंड माय सजेशन प्लीज ड्रॉप दिस क्वेश्चन सिंस दिस क्वेश्चन इज रॉन्ग आई एम गोइंग टू गिव यू द राइट क्वेश्चन इफ यू हैव सम अजम्पशंस आई विल सॉल्व द क्वेश्चन जो आपका अजम्पशन होगा व्हिच अकॉर्डिंग टू योर अजम्पशंस आई एम गोइंग टू सॉल्व दिस क्वेश्चन आई एम गेटिंग द आंसर अकॉर्डिंग टू यू but the question is wrong you must drop this question if you are considering the marking a scheme percentile scale score okay so what is all about question is u square plus u minus 2v minus 1 square is equal to minus 4b into u plus v the funda behind this question is quite simple the assumption of yours is a square if zero It means a must be zero. I have no objection. कोई objection नहीं है. Your understanding, your assumption, or the question creator's assumption is if a square plus b square is zero, if a positive square plus a positive square, which in the better way a non-negative value plus a non-negative value is equal to zero, it means what? It means nothing but a must be zero, b must be zero. Who thinks like this? Just think. Am I saying this one is right or wrong? This one is wrong. This one is a wrong assumption. A square equal to zero is a perfectly right assumption for the a equal to zero. But when we have a square plus b square equal to zero, that a equal to zero and b equal to zero at a time is a wrong assumption. Why so? You will say, okay, perfect square cannot be less than a zero. Then the summation of two perfect square is equal to zero. It means both the values should be zero. Is a wrong assumption. You must have to quote what the quotation should be. U and V are the two real numbers. I think you forget the concept of the imaginary numbers, and you presume that the students should understand the coordinates of the real numbers. So, if you want to give this question, you must have to write the question. Then, what is the value of U plus three V if U and V are the real number? So, you have to use the word. if u and v are real numbers or for the real u and v aapko ye likhna tha boss you people are responsible people how can you miss the word real or how can you miss the word among the option which one is the correct so you miss the two important word u and v are the real or among the options so this one is a wrong question if you are not writing then you say no we are not going to drop this question you have to understand this one the basic question of it any arithmetic any algebra a square plus b square equal to 0 no 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 boss you are wrong you have to write you have to drop this question now with this assumption or the wrong assumption i am going to solve this question and i am getting the answer which is among the option to so my request to you please drop this question on the ethical ground so what i say From the RHS, I am taking the value in the LHS. We'll get nothing but U square plus four U V plus four V square in one bracket plus U minus two V minus one square equal to zero. So the first bracket is clearly visible. It's nothing but U plus two V whole square is equal to U minus two V minus one whole square is equal to zero with the little assumption or the little knowledge or something you can say. The pre-junction a square plus b square equal to zero must have to have a zero b zero. Which one is wrong? Until unless the word real is given, since we have some <coughs> number called imaginary numbers. If a is imaginary, b could be imaginary at the same time. If we have the a square plus b square something anything, I hope you are getting. So from here, with your junction of being u and v real number, we can say u plus two v is equal to zero. And from here we can say u minus two v equal to one. If we solve, we solve u is nothing but one by two. Perfectly fine according to your assumption of the real number. If written only, 
I am again saying, if u and v are real numbers written only, then this would happen. And v is nothing but minus 1 by 4. So this one is our value from the given assumption or you can say unset given assumption of the real number. We have u, which one is nothing but 1 by 2. We have 3 by v, that is nothing but minus 3 by 4. And this one is 1 by 4 is the answer according to the assumption u and v are the real numbers or among the options. So the answer of this question, if you are going to publish is 1 by 4 or you are thinking 1 by 4 is a wrong if we think only the question not expected from the joker where you are going to ask the question in the interview boss what is the differentiation of the mod x do you know mod x differentiation is interview question and this question is not expected from the joker so please must drop this question fine uh, why I am aggressive? Because you people are the joker people, not any other IMs. Fine. So my suggestion, my request to the convener, please drop this question from slot 1 considering that the scale is scored or the percentile. So thanks Mr. Convener. My request is this to you and this one is all about what I have to say about this question. Okay. Thanks.